Okay, so we're going to look at some video clips now about consultation. We're going to look at some examples of good quality consultation and we're going to see some examples where there have been barriers to diversity groups and then we're going to use that as a basis for discussion as a room. So Jenny, what made the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community want to take action? Uh, there was a particular incident um, that was highlighted in relation to homophobic hate crime in Bala, but um, homophobic hate crime is, is an issue across North Wales. So what was it like bringing on board North Wales Police? Well, um, when, we, when they raised the issue of uh, homophobia in Bala, we went and spoke to uh, North Wales Police to, to work out how this could be addressed. And... Um, we got a number of the local LGBT people from Bala and a number of people across North Wales. And uh, what became clear was uh, we needed uh, the police to make a statement um, of zero tolerance of homophobic hate. That's what we were asking the police to do. Okay. So tell me about the Drinks Mats campaign. Well, after we decided that what we needed was the, uh, the police to, to say we don't, don't tolerate homophobic hate. Um, we came to the idea of using a drinks mask. The, the, the particular incident was in Bala, the, the National Stafford was coming to Bala, so um, a number of people worked with the police on designing these drinks mats, which were then um, sent, uh, used all over the Stafford and were actually launched by the Chief Constable at the Stafford. And um, we kind of blasted the, the whole of um, Balor and the, the Stafford with the drinks mats. And then it was followed up um, by 60,000 of these drinks mats then being distributed right across uh, North Wales. And the involvement of the LGB community was constantly there because they were um, involved in making sure that the, the mats were distributed but also making sure that those mats were out in various pubs and clubs and things. When the drinks mats were out, I was I was safe. Now the drinks mats have gone. I don't feel so safe. I think the drinks mats have helped and changed people's way of thinking. People just relaxed a bit more because it was clear that homophobic hate crime was not, not acceptable. And do you think it had an impact on the relationship between the LGBT community and North Wales Police? Definitely. And I think you know, we work well together. Obviously there are still incidents and there are still people who don't have confidence in the police, but it's a core uh, um, element of the relationship is, is that we, we do talk to each other. People were asking for more. Every time I went back, they asked me for more and more and more. I, I ran out of them, so I had to go, go back and get another that was the, the nicest part. I got a drink at every free drink at every pub I went into. It's really difficult, right? It's difficult to give examples because, like I've said, the community is so diverse and there's so many problems every day. For the deaf community, it's really difficult to access any information. So every day they're subject to lack of access. So, for example, going to a bank or getting a bank statement, the information is not there. 
if there's a report sent out. The information is quite full of terminology and jargon and the deaf people wouldn't get that information or understand it. So that is the biggest problem. Right, you'd have to meet all the groups. Um, obviously, for the British Sign Language user, you could use a, a, an interpreter to translate that information. For hard of hearing people, which maybe most of the hearing community as well, um, use basic English so that it's easy to read for anybody. Really, 25% of people in Wales aged 16 to 65 have a literacy level of an 11 year old. So really, they need to change the English that's being used anyway. And that would meet everybody's needs. But also, if they're doing any video work and recording, usually you have somebody talking. So for a deaf and hard of hearing person to access that, they would need subtitles and then they would have access to that information. So really, what we need is information to be accessible. So that's the most important thing. But obviously there needs to be a number of ways for that accessibility to be ensured. I think if information became easier to access, that everyday issues that the deaf community experience would be solved. People to be aware that uh, the lack of language uh, skills uh, or a lack of fluency uh, is leading to isolation. Many minorities um, use the service only uh, when they have to, not when they uh, need or want. Important aspect uh, is cultural differences um, because uh, UK is um, multi-nationality, multicultural. Uh, so uh, what um, would uh, be seen in Br British culture uh, too direct or uh, even rude in other culture uh, is normal um, way to co to communication uh, with um, no intention to offend uh, anyone uh, or to uh, to be demanding. It's many problems hard to choose. Um, the, um, for example, the problem is uh, when a letter is when official letter is uh, too long, and people start to doing translating tra translation uh, with dictionary, and that uh, creates uh, confusion. Uh, not to make an uh, assumption to common phrasal verbs used in speech or uh, in documents uh, are uh, understandable. Please use plain English. Uh, official letters, doc documents, uh, make short. Uh, maybe use some pictures. Uh, in an emergency sit situation, uh, have in, uh, easy reach a folder with graphics. My message to service providers is uh, have a lot of patience to minorities. Dwi'n rhannu efo chi profiadau blaenorol y gwasanaeth o ymgynghori efo um, pobl yr ardal. Roedd y gwasanaeth wedi ymgynghori neu ferwithiau o'r blaen a gallai wedi cael yn siomi ychydig bach efo'r um, lefel yr atebion oedd yn ei gael. Roedd ym, ym, yr ymgynghoriad oedd newydd ddarfod ar fwriadau'r gwasanaeth wedi um, cymryd dros chwe mis, wedi, wedi anfon dros 5,000 o holiaduron allan yn y post i bobl. 
ac wedi cael llai na pump deg yn ôl. Roedd hi'n anodd cyfiawn hau newidiadau i wasanaeth yn seiliedig ar gyn lliad o amateb. Pendel yn ydw felly efo'r ymgynghoriad nesa bod hynny'n neud peth achedig bach o wahanol. Sy'n so, i lichio y, y llyfr allan a mynd yn ôl i, i neud y pethau elfennol yn, yn gywir. Be oedd o'n plaid ni hefyd rhywsut oedd bod gen i gyn lliad o amser ac yn ni saith wsos i droi hyn rownd o baratoi i ddadansoddi'r canlyniadau. Felly o'r haid canolbwyntio a neud y gora o'r adnodda prin oedd gynna ni a manteisio ar yn partneriaid yn y trydydd sector i'n helpu ni gan a nhw o ddefo'r arbenigedd yn yr ardal a cysylltiadau cryfach na ni yn yr ardal. A be gytunwyd oedd y basa ni efalla yn anfon llai o holiaduron allan yn y post a siarad wyneb yn wyneb efo'r um, y grŵp targed pobl hun yn yr ardal yn yr, yn yr achos yma. Roedd yr holiadur yn canolbwyntio ar newidiadau i ofal a lletu yn yr ardal i'r dyfodol. Ac roedd yn amlwg bod hyn yn bwnc pwysig iawn i'r pobl. Ac roedd yn gwerthfawrogi cael cyfle i drafod y mater wyneb yn wyneb, wyneb efo ni. Drwy hynna roedd pobl yn gweld pa mor bwysig oedd o ac oedd ni'n medru um, gweithio efo nhw ac oedd nhw wedyn yn adnabod cyfleoedd eraill i ni rannu'r holiadur ac mewn rei achosion oedd nhw'n mynd ar ei holiaduron i'r grwpiau anffurfiol eraill oedd nhw'n rhan ohonynt. Wrth wneud hynna a mae'n teisio ar y cyfleoedd yn agododd yn y cyfnod ymgynghori. Oedd ni'n fodlon iawn efo'r canlyniadau oedd o'n bositif iawn. Yn y saith wsos yna efo chydig bach o waith paratoi Wsos wedi ni ddadansoddi, gafo ni rannu 500 o holiaduron a cael bron iawn i'w hanner nhw'n ôl wedi'w cwblhau yn drylwyr iawn. Ac yn mae'n wir deud, roedd y gost ariannol yn llai na 25 ar um, de a coffi. Felly, tydi y, y her i reolwyr ydy adnabod pob adnodd sydd gynna ni a wneud y mwyaf honna fo. Er mwyn sicrhau bod chi'n cael y bydd o gyfathrebu a gwrando ar llais y bobl. <coughs>